Russian President Vladimir Putin and Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan will meet in Russia. Russian President Spokesperson Dmitry Peskov confirmed this report. The data of the meeting will be announced later. The seismological network of Armenia on Tuesday recorded a magnitude 3.4 earthquake at the Armenia-Georgia border zone, 14 kilometers northeast of Bavra village of Armenia and 10 kilometers beneath the surface. The tremor measured magnitude 4 to 5 at the epicenter. Eleven horses from Armenia crossed over into the closed territory now under the control of Azerbaijan. The horses belong to Grigor Darpinyan, a resident of Shurnak village of Armenia, Sunik province. The resident added that he has not been able to search for the horses since it's foggy in the area now and hopes that the horses have not reached the territory that is under the adversary's control. Deputy Minister of Roads and Urban Development of Iran, Khairullah Khademi, visited Armenia to get familiarized with the construction of the Datev Alternative Road ever since Azerbaijan began to obstruct the movement of Iranian trucks to Armenia. The road will be used for Iranian transit trucks traveling from the Iranian border to Armenia. After Datev, the delegation led by Khademi arrived in Armenia's capital Yerevan. The Iranian official also gave an interview to Pars Today in connection with the visit. The Armenian parliament on Tuesday kicked off its regular sessions. There are seven issues on the agenda including on subsidies, changes to be made in social packages, making amendments to the tax code and electing a new member of the Public Services Regulatory Commission. As of Tuesday morning, 891 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has now reached 266,208 in the country. Also, 22 more deaths from COVID-19 were reported, making the respective total 5,419 cases.